Hey there, my name is Veronica. I am so excited to be with you today. I'm usually based in Chicago, but today I am exploring the city of Seattle. I'm so happy to be here. Today we're going to be talking about why you shouldn't try so hard in terms of attracting a specific person, why less is actually more, and why encompassing this truth can actually help you break through ASAP help you, especially if you've been at this exhausting yourself, trying so hard, and wondering why the results aren't there. If you would like to learn more about me or work with me one-on-one, veronicaisles.com. So when attracting a specific person, a simple intention, such as feeling you and this person together, holding hands, living together, sharing a life together, cuddling in bed, that can actually be enough to manifest a person. Now the problem a lot of you have is that once you decide to manifest a specific person, it becomes so important that you almost become obsessed with making it happen. So you go overboard in terms of new techniques, more techniques, uh, more repetitions of techniques, almost like following some sort of rigid formula that you think will get you success. Now, if anyone has tried this, they will probably tell you that it didn't get them the result and that all they ended up doing was resenting the situation, resenting the person, feeling frustrated, feeling exhausted, like they wanted to give up. Now, if you are feeling any of those emotions right now, it's time to get back to the basics, which is you plus this person equals love. That's it. That's it. That is the magic formula. In fact, conscious manifesting is ask, believe, receive. That's it. (laughs) Nowhere in there did I say meditate for 50 minutes, morning, noon, and evening. (laughs) Say affirmations 100 times per day. I didn't say to do rituals or, you know, think about something for a certain amount of time at a certain time of the day when your specific person is sleeping. I didn't say any of that. All I said was ask, believe, receive. That's it. That is it. So if you have been trying really, really hard and you feel like giving up right now, it is time to pull back. Pull back right now. Reclaim your life. Because this specific person can't enter your world unless you are living your life. You have to be living your life right now in a state of love, in a state of being able to receive. Again, it's ask. You've probably done a lot of asking already. Believe. You probably believe a lot. Receive means to just allow. It means you stop trying. It doesn't mean you can't visualize or meditate or do affirmations, but it means you don't feel required to do so. It's not required on your part. You can daydream upon this person because it gives you these wonderful rushes of energy and wonderful feelings, but it's not because it's a prerequisite. It's not because that is what is required of you until you get success. So that's the part that trips a lot of people up because they think they have to keep pounding at this, hammering at this until it comes to be. But this is what holds you up. This is what delays your receiving part. Because you're not in a state to actually have it. You're still in the asking state where you're just hammering away and making yourself feel awful. So ask yourself, doing these affirmations, doing these things, do I feel an imbalance in my life afterwards? Is it taking over my life or consuming my world or consuming my ability to do other things that are a part of me that are just me having fun? Is it keeping me from living a life that's similar to how I would be with a specific person? Because living in the end is about trying to enact everything you can right now, the feelings, the emotions, the type of life you would have. So if you were with this person, you would feel relaxed. You would just do your thing. You would have your social scene. You would be independent too. You would feel inspired to do other things. So are you doing any of this right now or are you doing too many techniques and exhausting yourself in the process? Ask yourself this. Because again, less is more. I think a lot of times people are afraid to do less is more because they think it's not enough. 
They think that if they don't think about their person 24 seven and they just get on with life and feel okay, that it is instead moving on and moving away from their desire and that the universe is going to get confused. But again, the universe is you. So there's no confusion. It's so highly intelligent. It never gets confused, not for one single second. It can't mess things up. It is the most intelligent part of you. So it's not going to get lost. If you just move forward, move ahead, allow, that's when it works. I mean, think about success stories that you've read. It's mostly been people just getting on with their life and then boom, it happens. Now, of course, you want it to happen when you still want it. And moving forward with your life doesn't mean that you no longer desire this person or desire this experience. You're not dropping that at all. But what you're dropping is the exhaustion of consuming your life with so much techniques to believe more when really you don't need much more belief. You just need to receive. You need to receive and it's time for you to receive. It's time for you to get all of those experiences that you've been dreaming about. So start allowing. Don't mistake it for moving on or mistake it for attracting someone new. It's none of those things at all. Allow yourself to actually receive this. A lot of you hold that part back because you misunderstand it. This is the most misunderstood part of the law of attraction and why a lot of people think it doesn't work. When it works every single time, it works just from a simple default cause and effect every single time. So if you really want this specific person, you really want to see this through, It's time to start receiving. And this part is totally within your power. Like you can receive right now, but what you need to give up is the exhaustion, the feeling of like you want to give up, the feeling that this is consuming your life, consuming your world, consuming your ability to feel good. If you are experiencing any of those things, it's time to move forward. And that's not moving on. No, it's not. It is allowing yourself to be able to receive. Ask yourself if what you've been doing is working. Why add on more techniques as if that particular technique is going to work better than the technique that you did before. In fact, the very first technique you ever did concerning your specific person was probably enough. It was probably more than enough. But the reason why you doubted that it was enough is because the results didn't come. But the reason why the results didn't come is because you weren't in the receiving mode. Again, it's ask, believe, receive. It is that simple. Okay, so I hope that this video could help. And if it helped you, do leave a comment below to help inspire others. If you would like to work with me one-on-one, I can help you manifest your specific person. I can help you manifest just about anything. VeronicaIsles.com. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and follow all of my adventures in real time. Have a good day. Now, is there someone you need to miss you and beg to be with you? I have a three-part manifesting process that I know will work wonders in your life, and it can work for any person. Circumstances do not matter. Check it out here. I know it will blow your mind. Make sure you pick someone you truly desire because it works fast.